Hello and welcome to this Adina training video. This time I want to focus on the use of the Adina modeler for the creation of bodies and surfaces. Just as a note, we also have available here the Adina native geometry engine, which allows to create all types of geometry from points, line surfaces to volumes. We actually discussed this on previous Adina training videos, but this time, as I was saying, we're going to talk about uh, Adina modeler. So this is a powerful tool that allows to uh, import certain geometry uh, formats like parasolids, um, but it also allows us to define uh, geometries parametrically and as well as edit them and modify them. So I'm going to select here define body and I'm going to add a new one. Uh, and here on the type dropdown list, we see we have a range of different uh, body types uh, as well as sheets. Uh, that we can define. So I'm going to click, I'm going to uh, select a block to start with. Um, there is different ways I can um, choose to define the geometry and this one coordinates will be fine. And I'm going to choose a dimension vector of 100 millimeters in X, 12 millimeters in Y and 4, 4 in Z. And I will leave the center position at 0, 0, 0. So I can save this one and we see that the, uh, the first body has been created. Now, I could uh, remain on this dialog and apply any changes that I want, uh, and we see how the body will um, change automatically, if that's what I wanted to do. I will continue to uh, add bodies right now, so let's add a second body, will be also a block type, Dimension vector will be 50 millimeters by, uh, by 20 by 4 thickness. And this time I want the second body to be adjacent to the existing first one. So I'm going to create a or define a center position X 75. Um, and then I'm going to copy this uh, body as is into body number three. And I just change the dimension to minus 75. Um, and that has created the three bodies as, as I was intending. I'm going to refresh here the uh, coloring of the zones, and those are my three bodies. Now, this is going to be, this geometry, once it's meshed, is going to be the starting point for a, a material nonlinearity or plasticity analysis that I will show on next training video. So I'm going to prepare this geometry for that. So I go back to Adina Modeler, Boolean operator this time. And I'm going to merge. We see that we could also intersect, subtract. We're going to merge uh, the existing target body one with um, the other two. Let's double click on the uh, blue field, select those two bodies, right click, and finish. We click OK, and that has merged all three bodies into one. So if I expand the zone list here, I only have body one. Now, um, for this um, tensile test specimen, I'm going to have some rounding in here to avoid the stress concentration. So I go back to Adina Modeler. I want to choose now body modifier. I'm going to visualize um, uh, in a you know the transparent model so I can access the edges that I'm interested in. Select target body one. I'm going to define a radius of 13 millimeters and double click on the edge field. And I'm going to select the edges that I'm interested in. Right click, and finish. OK. And that has now created the roundings. Now, this body is um, perfectly fine to be meshed with a, an hexahedral, a fairly regular and, and high quality mesh. Um, but I want not just that, I will need a structure meshed, structure perfectly mapped mesh across the whole the whole body. So I'm going to show how to subdivide this geometry further. So we go back to Adina Modeler. We're going to define section sheets, add a new one, defined by three points in this case. And I'm going to start selecting the points for each of these uh, sheets. So if I save, you will see the first one showing up. Let's copy this into a Two, again, select the points, 
save, copy this element to three, select those three, save, and a copy into four, and select this, save, and we can close the dialog, and we go back to adding a modeler, body modifier, as we were before, but this time we're going to select a, a section modifier type, and we want to uh, split body number one uh, by sheets uh, one, two, three, and four. Click OK. It's going to refresh the colors once again. And we see that we now have four um, fairly regular bodies that we, we will be able to mesh with a map to structure mesh. So let's move on to mesh um, our geometry. So we go back to, well, we go now to the meshing menu, mesh density. We're going to have a general two millimeters um, element edge length for um, all bodies. Right click, finish, click on save. And we see that that mesh density has been assigned to the um, to all bodies. But now I'm going to go back to mesh, mesh density, edge. And I'm going to assign the same number of divisions to all edges which are parallel to the y-axis. So to do that, I'm going to um, well, show a way of doing that. I'm going to switch on the edge labels, which uh, generally help select what I'm interested in. We're going to have 10 divisions. So we'll click on the edge field. And I'm going to select everything except of the edges that I'm interested in. Then right click, invert, and I have all the uh, X, uh, Y parallel axis or edges. Right click and finish. OK, and now we have uh, 10 subdivisions assigned to those edges. Let's now move on to uh, actually meshing the volume, the geometry. So we go to meshing, create mesh this time, bodies. We're going to select a 20 nodded hexahedral mesh. So this is quadratic element types. Create a new element group. I'm going to check. Uh, we're going to make sure that the connectivity happens everywhere at all um, um, at all interfaces between the different bodies. And we're going to select our five bodies. Right click and finish. And OK. And we can see that this has now created a a perfectly structured mesh, which is exactly what I wanted to do um, as a starting point for the nonlinear plastic analysis that I'm going to show on next uh, Adina video. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.